Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. Ladies. Girls and boys. Boys and girls. Welcome back to our channel. Inspirational Minutes with David. First and foremost, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications. Let you know that our channel is back on. Please do that. Uh, hit the like and share. Yes, your yeah, dad said, Whoa, I told you it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. It is coming. It is coming. It's here, but it's coming new and reformatted. Uh, audio book. I'm so excited about that. Hit the like and share. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you uh, for spending a little time with inspirational minutes with David. I hope uh, since last time we talked that uh, everything has been good with you and uh, with you and yours and your loved ones and your friends and family and whatever you do in your lifetime to earn a living. I hope everything has been, been good. Okay? Uh, me, myself, you know, I'm just rolling along. I tell people all the time, they say, how you doing, David? I said, well, uh, same song, different verse. Or should I say same soup, just reheat it. Oh, let's roll. Let's talk. 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 Let's talk, let's talk today. A uh, little small bill. We're not going to hold you too long. Um, I'm not going to be too long-winded. You know how it can be. They say, you're a, real, you're, you're, you're a little gorilla at time. Uh, you know, die at the mouth. They say, <laughs> you talk too. David, but uh, I digress, man. I digress, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, don't forget the book, Inspirational Minutes with David. Uh, soft cover, hard cover, Kindle, and soon coming audio book. Yes, yes, yes. I added 20 more pages to the book, by the way. It's the small talks and conversations I have weekly with the people that I love and the people who support me. Thank you in advance. Thank you. I love you, too. Uh, let's get started. Today. Today. This bill is about you. And the title of this, of our inspirational minutes with David. First of all, let's have a drink before I even give the title. Uh, welcome to the week or the weekend or the weekend. I hope you're not weekend by the weekend. Uh, or the week days. Having days, right? We're going to start it off, right? Let's roll. This bill is about you. This bill is about you. It's about you. Come trying to help you see. Can, 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 can we see? Better one, better two. Can you see the bottom line? Can, can you see the bottom line? <laughs> Hell, I can't either. <laughs> what on my glass? <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Let me stop. Let me stop playing around. Hey, listen. Inspirational minutes with David. Today, our, our bill today is warning. The title is warning. This is about you. This is so, um, this is so, this is saying or this quote. It's by Marcus Aurelius, and he says, The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Warning, this is about you. You see, uh, the nature of our soul is shaped by the quality of our thoughts, rather positive, constructive, and virtuous thoughts create a bright and vibrant soul. While negative or destructive thinking creates a dark and stained soul. This is about you, warning. This is about you. And the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. What you think you become, be careful of what you put into your head. It's very, very, <coughs> very, 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 very important, imperative to know that this quote implies that our thoughts are not just fleeting mental events, but they are important, powerful, potent agents, agents that have a lasting impact 
on our character and our inner world. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, it is crucial. It's very crucial to me to be mindful of our thoughts. You have to be mindful of what you put into your head. Be mindful of your thoughts and actively work to cultivate positive and virtuous and virtuous thinking patterns of your thoughts daily. Every second that turn into minutes, every minutes that turn into hours, every hours that turn into days, weeks. Be positive, cultivate positive and virtual thinking patterns. This is about you. Furthermore, this quote encourages us to take responsibility, have some freaking accountability for the quality of our thoughts and to recognize the power we have to shape our inner being. It reminds us that we have control over the state of our soul and that we can work towards creating a brighter, higher, more vibrant inner world within us. And overall, repeat this, this quote serves as a powerful reminder of the very requisite art of the importance of mindfulness and self-reflection. By paying attention to the quality of our thoughts and actively cultivating positive and virtuous thinking patterns, we can create a more vibrant and fulfilling inner world. Because guess what? This is about you. This bill today, tonight, this morning, whenever, this week, this weekend, this this it's about you. This is about you. And what I am saying is that we are all fractals of light. Life on earth emerges from light. Light is electric. Hell, electromagnetic. Right? We are our own Taurus field donut within us. From the capstone to the bottom, to the bottom, to the top, there's energy, a, a, a Taurus feel around us. The same thing as they call the Van Allen belt. Oh, look it up. But we are electromagnetic energy. And electricity is a fractal expression of energy in motion. Roots are fractals like electricity because energy follows the path of the least resistant and the best efficiency. Now, what I need you to do right now, look at your arms. Look at your arms and look at the veins. Look at the veins. Do you see the veins within your arms? They are fractals. Fractals. F-R-A-C-T-A-L. Fractals. Just like your entire pulsating body, your brain, your heart, your lungs, your nervous system, and everything, everything that composes of your, of your human existence. It's made up of fractals. Our biological systems and DNA are composed of electromagnetic, electrochemical reactions. They can only exist because of the fundamental forces of nature. The fundamental forces of nature. And the one force that's responsible, that's responsible for the for the formation, I should say. It's responsible for the formation and connection of all matter. It's electromagnetism or light itself. Why do you think they have CERN? Which you should be concerned. This is about you. You see, all life forms, all life forms are fractals because physics, chemistry, and all matter exhibit fractal. Properties. Intelligence is fractal. Even science is a is a fractal. Now, peak game, look at nature and see the pattern of infinity. Infinity. It goes on and on and on. Infinity that exists inside us and in the entire universe. 
fractals are omnipresent, omnipresent everywhere, everywhere, ubiquitously, ubiquitously around us. It's omnipresent, all powerful, and all scales of nature. For fractals of light are the basis of form. This, my people, ladies and gentlemen, this is about you. Now, where there is consciousness, there are fractals. Fractals. Life or consciousness would not exist without the fractal properties or properties of electricity, which is also a manifestation of light itself, also known as electromagnetism. Electromagnetism. You know how I butcher some words. Electromagnetism, <laughs> geography, and nature from symmetry to asymmetry results from electromagnetic interactions between the two. And without this force, form and the matter could not exist as it is. And Pete, this, this is so amazing. This is so beautiful to be able to see within oneself to be able to see within you because you know this is about you and connect with your higher self you must get love living on value energy letting out vulnerable emotions letting out vulnerable <laughs> electromagnetic energy at all times you must get love at all times and you must first love yourself Again, that's how you be fly. The energy of love. I repeat, the energy, the energy of love is the most awesome, the most awesome energy in the whole world, in the whole metaverse, in the whole metaverse, and also in the whole matrix, which they forced us into. You are cast out in the likeness of the most high. I mean, the only God, creator of everything in existence within all that exists. This is about you. This is about you. And what I have realized, what I have learned in my lifetime about you, about people. You see, the most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, suffering, struggle, and loss, and found their way out of the darkness. They found their way out of the depths of darkness. These people, these persons, they have an appreciation a sensitivity in an interstanding, an outer standing, a overstanding, and even an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. Beautiful people have been through some things. I know. I'm talking to myself first. I, um, they had much to say, but so much to say. And uh, someone asked me in one of my little, um, the social media, fly autism, TikTok, fly autism, um, on YouTube or something, not YouTube, but uh, Facebook. They asked me, they said, uh, well, you you talk about this, that uh, electromagnetism, you talk about electromagnetic powers and that we are gods and we are the most high God is within us. And we, when we look at ourselves, it's the, it's the, it's the soul looking at the body, not the body looking at the soul until you become one with the God that's within you. But we are all connected. Well, of the ether. So they asked me, what is ether? 
E T H E R. He said, This is about you. The ether is the ever present field to connect all things. It connects all things. Yes, everything is connected. Every one is connected. Every living micro microorganism, every living being on Gaia, Mother Earth, is connected. Every inch of the ether consists of consists of an infinite amount of free energy. This is the elite's greatest secret. Oh, they don't want you to know. <laughs> you might just wake up. <laughs> you might can wake up. So yeah, they can keep that from you. Every inch of ether consists of infinite amount of free energy. And this is the elite's greatest secret. The one percent is the one who controls this month. But yeah, them. If science were to reveal that ether exists, it would decimate. It would completely destroy the entire foundation of the mainstream atomism or atomism and particle science. Denying ether would be like a fish denying that it is surrounded by water. See, keep growing, keep evolving. This is about you. This is about you. And I need to let you know that where there is love, there's also unity harmony and peace of the balanced rhythms of a unified world. Where there is hatred that follows the denigration of this, this unity as night follows day. There is the lesson that is that is the lesson as I think that oh I just said. That is the lesson that, that the developed man has yet to learn. And until he learns this simple lesson of power that comes from rendering service to his fellow man, instead of taking everything from him against his will, taking everything from him against his will, his civilizations would disappear and their man-made fake artificial intelligence chaos one after another, after another, after another. Until he learns that lesson. Walter Russell, thank you for that. This is about you. Rewind it. Listen to it again. If you made it this far in our inspirational minutes with David, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. Let you know our channel is back on. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like and share. Help us grow. Help us grow. While you growing, let me, us, grow with you. It's about you. Right? It'll always be about you. Or should I say, it's about us too. Us is always about us. The synergy of love, living on by your energy. Remember, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. I've had some difficult times in my life. I've been in the depths of darkness. I'm now coming out the darkness, and the light is getting brighter and brighter, and brighter. Come join me. Let's see, together. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like and share, Help us, helps our channel to grow. And remember, when I love me, I love you. And when you love you, you love me in return. It's a synergy of love. Thank you. Thank you in advance. Until next week, I love you.
Peace.